Stafford. So we'll get a look at Joe Reed on the receiving end of this kick. And here is Reed playing just shy of the 10-yard line. Had a big return last week, and now Reed on the opening kick of the ball game across midfield, and finally taken down in Georgia Tech territory at the 34-yard line. On Henderson, the linebacker brings him down. Well, the woes of the special teams, Bronco Mendenhall talked about it the last couple weeks. They've had some flashes, though, where they've gotten a lot better. Reed has definitely been a bright spot. Field position given to him by Reed. Cowley is the extra tight end. They're going to hand the ball, and this is... Trying to get here, Jordan Ellis to the near side, and he's going to be taken out by Lawrence Austin to him. And Ben Kirk keeps it this time. And still on his feet, plows to the 19. Alexander, the linebacker, the first guy to get there, but a very aggressive play on down and nine. Here's Ben Kirk again pushing the pocket. Going to throw for the Lavroni and offline incomplete. That was Lawrence Austin in coverage. Here, they need this big three. And the kick by Mejia is good. Big third down, Marshall looking to throw. Slips it over the head of Benson, incomplete. Cervante Benson was there. That's Zacchaeus in motion. Reverse, and here's Reed coming back to the near side. Joe Reed with some room. He's already had two big plays down the ball game for Virginia in their first nine snaps. Players, a little bit of juice in the play calling as well. The reverse, and how about Jordan Ellis up the field when you have... You know the movie? I'm drawing a blank here. Karate Kid. Second down and Ben Kurt. Out into the flat. Zacchaeus, his first catch, and a nice tackle. Lance Austin. <laughs> ben Kurt to the gun with four wide, and he's going to keep it. Alexander hit him square in the numbers and drops him after a yard to the 36. A little bit... Too slow getting down there, or they're at the one. Marshall fakes the toss, and he sets sail to the far side. Taquan Marshall, 19 uh, yards on first down. And to make a difference here in this. Watch, watch him. You're going to see him coming out right there. Now watch him block the defender into the sideline and through the coaching staff. A couple buys. Third and two here. J.J. Green. He'll get the first down. Boundary toss to Green. In Virginia territory. And here's Benson trying to get away from Brown. And Cervante Benson going to lose yardage. He'll lose at least one, maybe two. Outside and watch Brown use his hands, get back outside. He's not credited with the tackle right here, but he certainly should be because he does such a good job of shedding his blocker and then his buddies come and clean it up. Marshall on third down. Brown chasing. Tried to go to Green. He was offline. Malcolm Cook closest Cavalier to J.J. Green. And Virginia does a good job once Georgia Tech got to a couple of possessions. Cavaliers one of three on third down. And intended for Zacchaeus and broken up by the redshirt senior Corey Griffin. A late season loss to Pittsburgh. They're still hanging in there tough. Marshall wants to throw. He's got a man wide open. Jalen Camp inside the 10. And Camp banged out of bounds near the two. But you get lulled to sleep. Look at everybody go blowing out of there, trying to defend that run when you're facing an offense that throws it maybe eight times a game. So here we go, second and goal. And Marshall went right behind the center. Kenny Cooper there. And he's in. 13th rushing score of the year for Taquan Marshall. The first down. Look good, and second down was good. <laughs> Look, at the guys are going up high. Up a little bit. Miami tried to pull one on Georgia Tech that they ran back for a touchdown earlier this year. Ben Kirk cuts it loose, looking for Zacchaeus, who hauls it in near the 10. Alameda Zacchaeus continues to make big plays for the Cavaliers. Whatever it takes, here he is now. He's in the zone underneath is just in the help coming over the top. If there was so much air under the football that I thought it was going to get knocked down by Griffin. Situations, he's next to Ben Cook. And he'll throw for the 10th time in this first half now and off the hands of Zacchaeus. Incomplete, Christian Campbell. Specialized in defensively for so long this season. 23-yard try, Mejia hit earlier for Virginia's points and he punches that one through. High for Georgia Tech, Marshall. Going to set it up for Stewart. 
and cannot make the play with Thornhill defending for Virginia. But it's so much last week in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I think she's still recovering from that. Bless her heart. Here's a flake by Zacchaeus on the reverse. Got away from Griffin and Alamade Zacchaeus sets sail. Another big play for Virginia. Everybody, there's one guy that's got a chance to get him. And Austin can't quite drop him. I'm sorry, Corey Griffin can't quite drop him. And Dubois down the field does an excellent job of blocking his man. There you see the angle by Griffin is just off, and Zacchaeus will do that to you. Finally, Ben Kurt's hitting these guys. They've got to hang on to it and help their quarterback. Here's Ben Kurt trying to get it to Ellis, and he juggled it and couldn't hold on. So three catchable passes from Kurt Benkert go by the boards here. He seems to every single time to get it in. Blocked! And that was blocked by Antonio Simmons, and Coleman is tackled on the recovery. And there you see the wedge formation in front of the punter. And they've got the guys in the middle. Nobody there to account for Simmons, who has a straight line. J.J. Green in motion. Taquan Marshall wants to throw, and he's going to be sacked by Jordan Mack. Jordan Mack. Guys are all eyes on him and all eyes on his partner there at the linebacker spot. Jordan Mack walked up in the line. They don't account for him. They tried to, but it's just too late. And boom, an 18 now. Marshall sprints to the right. He's going to keep it out in space and to about the 44-yard line of Virginia, which will be one yard inside the original spot of the football. Lane can get used to this condition. Benker tees it up, looking for Lavroni. Again, bounced off the pads in front of Lamont Simmons. Third down. Marshall, draw. Trying to find a seam. Taquan Marshall to the far side, first down. What, now you see me, now you don't, James? Hey, oh, just that. That's a big first down pickup here to get a fresh set of downs and keep it rolling. Here he is trying to keep it again, and Andrew Brown blows it up inside. Again, number nine is a problem. Marshall wants to throw. Cuts it loose. Ricky June downfield. Cannot make the play. Thornhill and Blanding were there for Virginia. Football here defensively so far today. Now a catch by Cowley. The big B-back, if you will, rolls it out into the near side and a first down for Virginia. They catch all these footballs, and it's a different story right now. Ben Kurt, Zacchaeus, and Alamade fumbled the ball but gets back on it, or does he? No, Georgia Tech says they have it at the 14-yard line. Backer spot for Mitchell, who stayed back in Atlanta. Zacchaeus finally holds on to one after dropping two in a row. Ball stripped away. And a great job. That's how you make those plays being around being around the ball, was it Swilling that caused the fumble to begin with, too? He forced the fumble down at any spot in the field, Paul Johnson, so maybe that's the thought here. Fake the toss to Green. Marshall trying to get to the edge. Taquan will have it. Did he get in? No, but it's first and goal. Georgia Tech as we go under three minutes to play. Any momentum with all the drops and Georgia Tech trying to pad that lead now. Cervante Benson dives in for the score, his sixth rushing score of the year. And Georgia Tech pushes into a seven-point margin with 2.31 to play. There you see the low bodies. <laughs> They're so used to that there, the kids from Atlanta. Teams have done that, scored on the opening drive against Clemson. It's 14-7 to now with that. Here's Reed now to return the kick for Virginia. And Joe Reed, who had a 58-yarder, now breaks free. Reed headed to the far side. King will give chase, and Joe Reed will score for Virginia. A 92-yard kickoff return for Joe Reed. That's freaky fast play. Wow. Oh, Reed, you see him put his hand down, and then he does get freaky fast as he outruns everybody to the corner of that end zone. And you've got guys on the outside, guys in their lanes that just kind of slow it down. Hey, he's in the back. They're going to drop him. They let their guard down. And a good job for those guys there in the middle holding on to their blocks. And Bronco, hey, he's focused on it the last couple of weeks. We've got to get...
And Marshall the throw? No. Tried to tuck and run. Hand back pulled him down. Big Eli hand back the nose. Got in there to drop to Con Marshall. Marshall going to tee it up, and that is Searcy the catch. In front of the Georgia Tech bench in Virginia Territory. I see your timeout, Bronco, and I raise you this nice little rope, well-thrown football, and a good job by Searcy. Virginia defense. Here's Marshall looking to throw again. Buys time, looks, shoots it, and offline, and we got a flag in the middle of the field at the 34. That's timeout. See if they can make them punt. Got to run it with Ellis. Quick and there's the out. last time out. James, you were right. Going here to start this third quarter. Here comes Marshall on the keeper. Riding a block and now Taquan Marshall into the secondary and down the sideline. A big play against Wake Forest two weeks ago and an explosion play now. Starts the third quarter for Marshall. And Marshall goes untouched into the end zone. Kaiser's going to get cut. Doesn't go down to the ground, but he comes underneath. You got to go back over the top and adjust those angles. Yeah, you're going to drop him for 25-yard gain, but still, you don't let him get that big hitter, and it's off to the races for a guy that can definitely scoop when he's out in the open field. 14 rushing touchdowns. You're not going to catch Taquan Marshall if you let him get your feet and come at you. Intercepted by Bruce Jordan Swilling. The flag is down, and he scores. We'll see if the pick six stands. There's a marker down at the 18-yard line. Ben Kurt has thrown a pick six. Ben Kurt has done such a good job throughout this game. Here he's got his eyes on Zacchaeus the entire time. Nobody can call a fair catch. It doesn't have to be the guy that catches it. And this is good to see. Speaking of catches, Zacchaeus pops there in the first half, seemed to be contagious. Let's hope if you're a Virginia fan that the catches are contagious. Here is Zacchaeus out in the flat. That'll be close to a first down. Lawrence Austin ran him into the Virginia bench. Made a, it's kind of been a brand new year for Zacchaeus. And that ball thrown incomplete. Now late flag. Lavroni, the intended receiver to Lamont Simmons, I think is going to be called for a defensive hold here. Nice pickup. Now go to the air. Lavroni looking deep. Ben Kurt the throw and the catch. Andre Lavroni's fifth touchdown catch of the year. Lavroni, six foot three, is coming right at you. Christian Campbell trying to hand fight, put the hands, get those hands off of me. He does an excellent job of raking those hands away. Having more fun, and that's kind of the point, right? I'd like to think so. We've had plenty of offense here lately. Marshall the shot. Searcy intercepted. Picked off by Quinn Blanding. He goes saved by the bell. Bayside High School. Marshall just throws it up there. Blanding playing in center field. An interception against Pitt last week trying to get his guys back into the game. And here he puts it right back in the offense's hands. Some kind of third quarter unfolding in Charlottesville. Ben Kirk going to take the shot. Dowling is there. Flag down. Caught. Touchdown, Virginia. And what a throw and catch this is. Ben Kirk to Donnie Dowling if it stands. Four touchdowns in less than five minutes of the third quarter. Very dangerous when he gets in trouble tucking it and going. Zacchaeus caught it. The game is tied on the two-point play. In the last couple weeks, just feeling sorry for him to looking like one of the best mightily throughout the first half. Marshall wants to throw here. Cuts it loose, and Camp never came back for it. Or there was a miscommunication. I don't know if we've got the youngster with the educated toe or not with the game winner. Jordan Ellis on first down gets about 10 into Georgia Tech territory. Third down and five, and a great big one, too. Georgia Tech trying to get some of the momentum back. Virginia 3 of 11 today on third down, and that one thrown behind Lavroni by Binker. Marshall keeps it and drives for it, and I think he might have had it on second effort. 
He had to break the plate of the 12, and he did. So it's got 133 yards now, 19 carries. And there goes Benson, taking blue shirts with him on about a nine and a half yard run. 12 yards on six carries. Benson trying to break away from handback will fall forward for the first down. It's interesting. Howard, the big freshman from Rock Hill, South Carolina, on the carry. And Howard will get the first down. Now, this young man, James, we saw him go 82 yards on six carries against Jacksonville State. Marshall wants to throw. Overshoots the intended receiver, and that was J.J. Green. Who got knocked down by Blanding. And he's, and he's got the speed to go, as he showed us earlier on the big kick return. Little delay here, and Jordan Ellis gives back to maybe three yards on the play. Bruce Jordan swilling the stop. We start the fourth with Kurt Benkert in a third down play here. Alexander on the blitz, and Campbell batted down a ball intended for Dowling. Base look. They went to Benson, and boy, Alonzo crashed down. Big 91 got in there down Marshall wants to throw in trouble dances and gets tripped up and Andrew Brown and Eli Handback wreaked havoc in the backfield Ben Curtin the gun third and ten Georgia Tech trying to get there shoots it across the middle of Buddy Dowling on the back end and a big catch for the Cavaliers first and ten at the Georgia Tech 22 and a half three-yard try to give Virginia the lead AJ Mejia and it squeezes through. And Delaney's kick for Cottrell at the two. Cottrell trying to get to the edge and does. Nathan Cottrell knocked out of bounds past the 30. It's 31. Here's Marshall looking to throw on first down. Daquan going to cut it loose for Searcy. And it's intercepted. Brenton Nelson over the top with his fourth interception of the year. Ellis back in the ball game. Ben Kurt wants to throw here too. Looks, gonna shoot it down the field and incomplete intended for Reed with Lawrence Austin defending. Georgia Tech starting off its three. Fumbled by Marshall and knocked down in the end zone for the safety. Tried to go to Benson and I think Jordan Mack